My name is Dimitri Johnson. So talk about what kind of games you're playing right now, Dimitri. Yeah, uh, right now I'm playing H1Z1. I just got done playing uh, the Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, just got done playing uh, Ubisoft's For Honor games. So I'm, I'm playing all types of games right now. So do you have any favorite memories of playing games while going growing up? Oh, yeah. I mean, playing Super C, uh, Super Contra 2 my mom, shooting the spread balls and grabbing the S balls. She goes, those are my S balls. I called it. So calling dibs with your mom, that's kind of uh, uh, one of my fond memories I have playing video games. Uh, trying to beat Super Mario 64 before my brother does. All, all types of memories with video games, man. What are your thoughts on how far gaming has come since the days of Super Contra? Oh, my God. It, it, it's night and day. I mean, before you wanted to play you know, against people, you have, you know, two players, you know, land games. And then now you would have to go to the arcade to play some of the games that you can get on like Xbox One, PS4, uh, PC. And now you, you have games that are, they're making live action movies off of. So it's just, it's gone through leaps and bounds. It's a totally different universe. You also have a UFC fighting franchise. Yeah, you have the UFC fr uh, fighting franchise, and you know the UFC game has been out there forever. I mean, it came out with UFC, ta uh, not, I think UFC tap out for Xbox One. I think it was the first one. Even Pride had a game, which uh, K1. A lot of people don't know that K1 had a fighting game for PlayStation One. So fighting games have been around forever. As a UFC fighter, do you think that game, playing that game, would make you a better fighter, studying the moves of the opponents and stuff? No, 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 no. I, I think games that make you a better fighter, that actually make you use your fighter skills, is a like game like For Honor, because depending on what character you use, whether it's Nobushi or Orochi, uh, or, the, or the Peacekeeper, the Viking, the Raider, you can you have to judge your distance, depending on when you can attack and when you can be hit. In Octagon, it's the exact same thing, where if I'm standing here, can I be hit by this opponent? I can translate that over into um, For Honor. <laughs> so talk about your work, your workout routine when you get ready when you're getting pumped for UFC. What do you do? Yeah, when I'm getting ready for uh, any fights in the UFC, um, typically you're not know, going to strict diet, no alcohol for eight weeks. Um, I have protein and greens at night before I go to bed. I have all my carbs during the day and in the morning, and I stay on a, a consistent uh, diet regimen. And then when it comes like the actual working out. It can range from boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, Muay Thai, shoot wrestling, and then with the cardio aspect of it, we do some swimming, running, lifting, a little bit of everything. What advice would you give, would you give to someone who wants to get into the UFC? Uh, don't try to get into UFC. Uh, find mixed martial arts as uh, a hobby, as I did, and that's going to make you uh, succeed, you know, probably even better than I did. So what did you think about some of the stunts uh, in uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands? Uh, the stunts that's in the movie or in the game itself? Oh, the movie was awesome. I mean, they had TI in there. Uh, the story was kind of compelling. You know, you always have these guys who go into deep, deep territory. Um, undercover, I guess you can say. He's been in there for seven years. Nobody would have thought it was him. He gets caught up because somebody found the necklace and the necklace led back to the church. And one of the churches is, has been, you know, basically brought out by, you know, the Santa Blanca. And then now it, it all traces back to him. And he has uh, a girl he met over there, gets her pregnant. I mean, it, it was a great uh, live action movie to set up the game. Now, a lot of movies, a lot of uh, video games use mo motion capture now. They put actors in suits to capture their animations. Have you ever done something like that? I have not. I I'm, I'm hoping one day I can do something like that. Maybe for Tekken. Uh, if Tekken ever does use motion capture, I like how f fluid the game is. Um, or even a game like this, you know, I would not mind to be portrayed, you know, as a DLC character in the Ghost Recon Wildlands, like Black Fox is here, and have me do, a, you know, a little motion capture. I'm absolutely up for that. Now, as a pro athlete, um, what are your thoughts on esports on the rise? Pro gamers being paid to play video games professionally? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think esports is an amazing thing. I mean, I think those guys are true athletes. They put as much time, if not more, into their craft than I than I have. You know, I've been fighting since I was 18 years old. There's been guys gaming since they're 12, and you know, you, you have the guys who are StarCraft II. Everything you have to act on the moment. Um, I participating in some competitions with some of the best guys who have 3,000 plus hours in games. So those guys are true athletes and I hope eSports uh, gets to a point where they're accepting all types of games. But in order for a game to be accepted into eSports, it has to be accepted by the community first and then eSports will pick it up. You know, League of Legends sold out the Staples Center two years in a row. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. League of Legends, Dota 2, those games, I mean, I, I, MOBAs are awesome. It's very hard for me to follow it because it's it, it's kind of, you know, it, it, it's fast turnarounds and it's a long game. It's almost like playing Monopoly, you know? You're going around, you get park place, and you get all the ones you need, and then when the game's done, you start from scratch again. Now, do you have a favorite fighting game of all time? Favorite fighting game of all time? Man, it would have to be Marvel's Capcom, the, 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 that series along, you know, Marvel's Capcom on Dreamcast, Marvel's Capcom 2, uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, all those type of games. Thank you.